Hello and welcome to German Lessons with Mr. Ferguson. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Deutschunterricht mit Herrn Ferguson. Diese grammatische Stunde ist, wie man den Imperativ benutzt. How to use the imperative. Before we start, before we anfangen, please remember to like this video, bitte klickt gefällt mir, and subscribe to my channel. Bitte vergesst nicht zu abonnieren. If you're enjoying my videos, please do consider buying me a coffee by clicking the banner now. These donations allow me to produce exciting new content whilst keeping it free to access on YouTube. Danke im Voraus. Thanks in advance. In this lesson, we'll be looking at how to use something called the imperative mood. This is an aspect of speech which conveys instructions. Let's have a look at some examples in English. Eat your food. Look out. Stop talking about it. In German, there are three forms of you. We use du for an informal singular sense, ihr for informal plural, and sie for formal. If you're not sure what I mean by formal and informal, it's a good idea to go back and watch my explanation of these terms by clicking the banner now. As we have three forms of you, each verb will have three imperative forms. First of all, let's look at how regular verbs change in the imperative. If you're not sure what I mean by a regular verb, you can go back and learn about these by clicking the banner now. Let's look at these three examples. Kaufen, to buy. Machen, to do or make. Spielen, to play. When talking to one person with whom you have an informal relationship, you simply use the do form of the verb, but without the standard st ending. For example, Kauf diese CD. Buy this CD. Mach deine Hausaufgaben. Do your homework. Spiel das Klavier. Play the piano. It is also possible to add the letter E to the stem, and this tends to depend on formality of the situation, personal preference or region. Zum Beispiel Schreibe einen Brief. Write a letter. If the stem of the verb ends with a D or a T, you will always see the extra E. For example, arbeiten, meaning to work. Arbeite mit mir, work with me. Finden, meaning to find. Finde deinen Traumurlaub, find your dream holiday. For irregular or strong verbs, there's a slightly different rule. If you're not sure what I mean by a strong verb, you should go and learn about these by clicking this banner now. Strong verbs have a stem change in the present tense, and the three most common of these are e to i in verbs such as helfen, to help, the du stem of which is hilf, e to ie in verbs such as lesen, meaning to read, The du stem of this is lies. And a to a umlaut in verbs such as fahren, to go by vehicle or to drive. The du stem of this is fair. In the imperative, for the du form, you tend to just use the du stem. And this works for strong verbs, with one exception. The exception is that, in the imperative, verbs with an a to a umlaut change The stem change does not happen. So let's look at some examples. Hilf deinem Bruder. Help your brother. Notice here that because the verb is helfen, which goes with the dative case, we have to use deinem. Lies das Buch. Read the book. As both of these verbs are strong, and they have an e to i and an e to ie change respectively, We reflect that change in the du form of the imperative. Far weiter. Drive further or carry on driving. Even though we know that fahren is a strong verb with an A to A umlaut change, in the imperative we do not need to include that A umlaut. Here are some other common du imperatives of strong or unusual verbs. Nimm meine Hand. Take my hand. 
This comes from the verb nehmen, to take. Hab einen schönen Tag. Have a nice day. This comes from the verb haben, to have. Despite the fact that the du stem for haben is ha, we actually include the b in the imperative, hab. When giving an instruction to several people for whom you would normally use the ia pronoun, you need to form the imperative in a different way. Fortunately, the ia imperative in German is extremely easy. All you need to do is use the ia form of the verb without the pronoun. This means you take the stem of the verb and add a t. Here are some examples. Macht das nicht. Don't do that. Kauft, was ihr wollt. Buy what you, in formal plural, want. Hört mir zu. Listen to me. The verb here is zuhören, meaning to listen to, which is a separable verb. It's worth noticing that separable verbs will separate when used in the imperative. If you aren't sure what I mean by a separable verb, you can go back and learn about those by clicking the banner now. For the formal Z version of the imperative, we simply use the Z form of the verb, which is normally the infinitive, and the pronoun Z. For example, Essen Sie Ihr Frühstück? Eat your breakfast. Gehen Sie gerade aus und nehmen Sie die erste Straße links. Go straight on and take the first street on the left. These are the types of examples that you're likely to see all over the German-speaking world on signs and in shop windows. Bitte nehmen Sie Ihren Müll mit nach Hause. Please take your rubbish home with you. Finden Sie hier Ihren Einkaufskorb. Find your shopping basket here. Another useful thing to know about the imperative is that you can use the via form of the verb, along with the pronoun itself, to make suggestions that you personally will take part in. Gehen wir nach Hause. Let's go home. The final thing to talk about with regards to the imperative is how the verb sein, to be, behaves. We know that sein is a very unusual verb and it's no different in the imperative. The imperative forms of sein are as follows. The du form is sei. The ihr form is seid. And the sie and wir forms are seien. For example, sei ruhig, be quiet. Seid vorsichtig, be careful. Seien Sie nicht so nervös, don't be so nervous. Seien wir ehrlich, let's be honest. And so that's all there is to know about the imperative and the many ways in which it can be used in German. It's a good idea to pause the video now to recap what we've covered. Remember that you use the imperative to give instructions and that there are three different forms of you. Du for informal singular, ihr for informal plural and sie for formal. Habe ich etwas vergessen? If you're a native German speaker and think I've forgotten something important about the imperative, please let me know in the comments. Bitte schreibt einen Kommentar. Also, please remember to click subscribe to receive all of my German lesson videos, language learning tips and updates. You can also follow me on Instagram with the username Herr Ferguson and on Twitter under at Herr Ferguson. Otherwise, from me, it's Danke und Auf Wiedersehen.